Jerome's grand opening sale. Oh yeah, high fidelity, boombox speakers, we got car speakers, stereo speakers, everything for your high fidelity needs. A brother from South Central, smooth and ready with good prices. Come on down, few days we grand open. Jimmy Jerome, grand open the sale. What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about Snowfall Season 3, Episode 1. This is the What to Expect. The show airs tonight. Now, the description of the episode reads, Franklin and Sissy look to make an investment in the community, while Andre tries to figure out what's destroying it. Jerome unveils his new business, a new cook on the streets competes with Franklin's crew. So that's the description. Those are the key points. And we're going to talk about it now. They didn't really give us a episode one trailer. So I'm going to try my best to put this video together for you guys based on the official trailer that they gave us. Now, Franklin and his mom, from what I read, will be opening up a real estate business, um, which is going to be great for the community and also great for Franklin in the long run, he's going to need some type of game plan when this all is over. And it will be over because you already know the drug game do not last forever. So it's good that Franklin is working on a legitimate business. And this is something that he needs to do more of. He needs to have numerous of businesses. But this is a great start. And his mother is involved in it. Hopefully nothing happens. Hopefully everything's OK with this business. Um. I think it's going to be all right, man. They're trying to help the community out and as well as bring in legal money. And that's very smart. But we're going to see how that plays out in this first episode. Now, Melanie's father, Andre Wright, he's going to be on a mission. Now, in this very next episode, this first episode of Snowfall Season 3, you're going to see the effects of crack cocaine. You're going to see what it really did to the community Back in the 80s, they're going to show you this in the trailer, in the official trailer, they show little glimpses of it. What it's doing is killing people, it's changing everything. People that's selling it are becoming very flashy. It's changing the black community and all the urban communities. And Andre Wright knows this. He wants to stop Franklin. That's going to be his game plan the whole season. I'm eager to see how this storyline plays out, seeing that his daughter is dating Franklin. So going to be tough. I wonder how Franklin is going to handle dealing with Mr. Wright. It's going to be tough for him not to actually lay him down seeing that he's dating his daughter. So you guys let me know how you see that playing out. Now Jerome is returning and he's smart this time. Um, I always felt like Jerome was very smart. He didn't even want Franklin getting into the drug game. He told him not to get into the drug game. But with Frank, Franklin did what he had to do. Um, but Jerome is going to be opening up his own business. And it seems like it's going to be a music shop called Jerome's. Um, can't wait to see it. It's going to be great, I think. I think this is also a great idea for Jerome, having another legitimate business. This is what you have to do. Open up legal businesses. That way, when this drug game is over with, you have something to fall back on. You have money. Now, I don't know if they're going to be trying to clean money through these businesses or not, I guess we got to find out and see. But most drug dealers usually do. They usually have their own legal business and then they they shift the money through those businesses. So hopefully Jerome does not slip up. And I also think Aunt Louise is going to probably help him out with that business as well. Now, the description reads that it's going to be a new cook on the streets that competes with Franklin's crew. Now, we know Wanda is coming back. I'm not 100% sure if these people that she's messing with will be the new cooks or not, but she's supposed to be in the first episode. Now, this guy right here, he wants to know everything about Franklin because Wanda used to mess around with Leon. So she knows what's going on. She's cracked out. She's smoked out. And you already know she's going to tell him whatever he needs to know. So this guy could be a potential threat for Franklin and his crew based on the trailers. It's going to be crazy what's going to happen to him. Um, it ain't going to be pretty. I know that. 
But in this first episode, I think this guy is a potential threat to Franklin trying to be the new guy on the block. And he, you know, I know Franklin going to be tripping out because somebody else trying to steal his recipe. But it is what it is. You know how the game goes. Now, we can expect to see Teddy and Lorena. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in this first episode. They're listed for episode one. Um, Lorena is going to also probably put that pressure on Teddy, letting him know to make sure he hands over everyone when this war is over because she wants all these drug dealers. I want to know if Teddy's going to actually be a man of his word or will he kill Lorena when it's all said and done? I guess we got to wait and find out. Now, Teddy should be going to see Gustavo. Yes, Gustavo survived, and that's good. You know, a lot of people thought he's going to die. Um, you know, last season, it was tough for him. He almost was gone, but he survived. Um, now, Lucia, from what I know, haven't seen or heard anything about her being in season three, but Gustavo will be in season three, and Teddy needs him because he needs to fund this war he needs to he needs Gustavo. He needs the connections. He needs to keep get to keep getting this money. So Gustavo will be a key player in season three. Um I cannot wait for this episode. It airs tonight at ten o'clock. Late, very late episode, but I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna drop that recap for you guys. I hope y'all support this series. I told y'all last year that this year I will be more consistent with Snowfall because this is a very underrated show, so it's time to start to show this show a little bit more love. But y'all let me know. I'll talk to y'all later on in the recap. Keep supporting your boy, and I will continue to bring you more Snowfall content. But it's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.